Welcome back to A20 Special Relativity. In this section, we want to talk about the deuteron, which is one of the two stable isotopes of hydrogen. The atom is called deuterium. Um, the nucleus actually contains one proton and one neutron, so it's quite simple. And so we can use this as an example to understand the concept of binding energy and how we can create objects of heavier mass or nuclei of heavier mass. We can do this by bringing protons and neutrons together. And when we do that, they have a likelihood of binding together to a deuteron. Um, and they release an energy in form of a photon of 2.3 MeV. So um, the way to understand is that the combination, the bound combination of the proton and the neutron have a favor more favorable energy state, which is visible in this nuclear potential here. So the deuteron uh, lives as a combination of the proton and the neutron here. In order to now split up the deuteron, which is stable, we have to add energy. We have to add at least 2.3 MeV of energy in order to release the proton and, and, and the neutron and make them free. The natural abundance of deuterium in, in, in the Earth is rather limited um, with 0.0115% in the Earth. But nevertheless, Deuterium is extremely useful and extremely important in the evolution of the universe, uh, in the uh, synthesis of more heavier elements, um, as it's kind of a part of the chain which allows the creation of helium, and then helium can be used in order to create even heavier um, nuclei. To give you, in a sense, and, and the numbers, um, the mass of the deuteron is two. 0 0.01355 in um, atomic units. The mass of the proton is about one. The mass of the neutron is a little bit bigger, but also about one. So in order to now get the binding energy, so the energy which is kind of stored in the deuteron when it's binding together, the proton and the neutron uh, can be uh, accessed by um, adding the proton and the neutron mass and subtracting the mass of the deuteron. Again, that's the minimal energy needed in order to free up the proton and the neutron. Um, more energy, if you add more energy, then you actually also give en kinetic energy to the proton and the neutron in this reaction. Um, the deuteron was discovered in uh, 1934 and is fundamental also in production of hydrogen bombs, which uh, were produced uh, about 20 years later. So the deuteron itself is, is a rather important nuclei. Again, as I said before, it's, it's fundamental, its stability is fundamentally important in nuclear synthesis after the Big Bang. 